Okay, so we're here on MIT App Inventor, and uh, let's say that you don't have a phone that you want to, uh, that you want, that you are able to develop against, right? So we're gonna go ahead and use the emulator. So to get started, we're gonna click on this green start button, and you're gonna see setup instructions here, so click on setup instructions. Then we're gonna go ahead and scroll down uh, to option two, and it says, don't have an Android device, device use emulator. So we're gonna click on those instructions. Now remember, to install anything, you're gonna have to have admin privileges. So you have to be on a computer where you have administrative privileges or have access to somebody with administrative privileges in the case of Windows. Um, so let's go ahead and click on Windows because that's what we're on here. And we see here we have a link download installer. We click that. We're gonna save the file. In my case, it says 15 seconds. So we're gonna go ahead and wait for that to, uh, to download. While it's downloading, I'm just gonna go ahead over and uh, clear out my project. So basically I had a project before, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it. And I'm gonna close out of App Inventor that I was using before. Okay, so our, emu so our uh, emulator is um, downloaded. We're just gonna double click the installer. Oops. And we're gonna keep clicking next. Just agree with everything, next, next, next. And this is the emulator installing. Okay, so we're finished. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and, um, so basically the, the App Inventor software, the emulator is going to, um, going to install in, in a location on your computer. Okay, so we're gonna go over to this setup emulator uh, software, or the instructions for setup emulator. Um, and basically, uh, So basically we're gonna go find the software, okay? So if you're in Windows 8 and we went here, um, even if you search on it, it's gonna take just a second. So even if we search on it, it's probably not going to find it. Oh, there it is, AI Starter, it did find it. Okay, so we have AI Starter. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and click that uh, to launch it. I'm not sure what's going on with my uh, awesome Windows 8 computer here. Okay, looks like we had a little bit of a glitch. Um, so let's go back to uh, to find this um, AI starter. Okay, so we're gonna click on that. The AI starter is gonna start up. Okay, so now we have this AI starter here running. Okay, so we need to leave that running. That's our emulator, right? Okay, and now we're gonna go over, once our emulator's running, we're gonna go back to uh, MIT App Inventor. Okay, so notice we just click Create at the top of the screen. Okay, now if you if your computer didn't find the AI App Inventor, you could find it in the file system. Okay, so if you're on a 64-bit computer on Windows computer, basically go to C Program Files, and you should see um, something in here like App Inventor, right? Um, the other place it could be is under your x86, right? So these are the 32-bit. Um, these are the 32-bit um, 
program files. So notice that's where it is. So it's in the program files x86. You can open up App Inventor and click AI Starter EXE. Okay, and we could create a shortcut on a desktop, but we won't now because this computer recognized it. Okay, so we have MIT App Inventor open. We're just going to click Continue. We're going to click Start New Project. So we're going to go to just call it Project 1. We're going to click OK. We're going to click Project 1. And I'm just going to go ahead and add one button to the project before I actually connect. It seems to be helpful. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click Connect and click Emulator. It says Starting Android Emulator. And notice that what you should see on AI Starter is you should hands here. Things running in this emulator. Just leave the window open. Okay, and notice that this Android emulator start is starting right here, right? Okay, it takes a minute or two to start up. Okay, and you basically operate it where your your mouse is essentially the finger, right? So now the companion is starting on the com so the emulator is basically a phone, and now it's starting that AI uh, companion too. So that it basically has the software installed, this MIT AI two companion. It starts that software automatically. Okay, so we can start the update. Okay, so it's updating. Notice it does have a note here, when update finishes, choose done. Don't click open. And then it says to choose reset connection when it's done. So I'm going to choose done. Okay, and then I'm going to go up to connect, and I'm going to click, connect, click reset connection. I'm going to then go to connect again and click emulator, and it's going to restart. Now this is a one-time process, so once it's updated, you should it you should be all set. But we want to see we want to get to the point where we actually see this app that we're working on on the screen on the emulator. So that's our end that's our end point here.
Okay, so the MIT AI2 companion started up. Okay, so we see now that we have this uh, text for button one. You'll notice that basically it's the exactly the same screen. Let's say I want to add a second button. So I add a second button on there. And basically any changes I make on my screen here should then be updated on the emulator. Okay, so that's the idea. That basically you're developing on this screen in App Inventor. You see your end result on the screen in the AI2 component. Okay, good luck. You ready to start your first tutorial?